Take me in. Are you really so pathetic? Return to where you came from. Go back now. Go back. I said go back now. Please take me in. Go! Stop right there. It's in the middle of the night. What are you doing outside of a girl's room? Shu Jian. Shu Jian, why did you come back all of a sudden? Forget about that. What are you two doing at this hour? Guys, listen. If there's nothing important at the circuit, I won't be coming. What? Is the circuit going to close? Then... Then where will you be going? Where are you going? I'm going to my wife. Wife? I'm downstairs. Let's have a date. Come on. Father, go back to your room and sleep. I would like to sleep, but I'm afraid you'll sneak out if I sleep. I have no other choice. Be obedient and stay at home, okay? Just go back to your room. You look exhausted. Okay, fine. I'll go to bed first. Lock yourself in the room. Good night. Have a good night's sleep. times have I told you not to order a couple set? Now look, the food contains sugar. You can't eat them. Why not? You need to make up for all the sugar that I haven't had in 20 years. Oh, right. What did Uncle Tang say about the dessert shop? Nothing much. After the pregnancy incident, he didn't mention anything about it either. To be honest, this is upsetting. We have arguing for a long time about the postgraduate studies. And we finally reached an agreement. Now we start arguing again. Because of the store. 
However, I don't want to give in so easily. Let's say you listen to him and give up on your dream. What if you regret it later? You will surely blame him for that. So why don't you pursue your dream now? You mean hold on to my dream? What if it's a wrong decision? What if my dad and I fall apart because of this? What if I say I haven't lived the life I want? Miss Tang, if you have thought it through, just let me know. I'll help you with the down payment contract. Don't worry. I will always be there for you. If it's a wrong decision, we can start everything over. If you and your father fall apart, let's wait until we succeed and apologize to him. I've made my decision. Sister? Take me in. Are you really so pathetic? Return to where you came from. Go back now. Go back. I said go back now. Please take me in. Go! Stop right there. It's in the middle of the night. What are you doing outside of a girl's room? Shu Jian. Shu Jian, why did you come back all of a sudden? Forget about that. What are you two doing at this hour? Let me help you with your luggage. Let's go. Come on. You must come to today's welcome home lunch. Ji Han, don't you think I look pale today? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? It was a nightmare. Ji Han, what kind of son-in-law your family would like? Why are you curious? Well, I want to meet Tang Weiwei's family officially. What should I do? This won't do. I think to go out and think carefully about it. Meet her family? Since your cousin is back, let's get things straight. Uncle, I don't think that's a big deal. Let me ask her and see what we can do. Enjoy your tea. Get up. Why did you get pregnant? How could you get pregnant? Without my surveillance? Well, of course. I'm not blaming you. Weiwei is a good girl. Lin Ran is to be blamed. Exactly. It's spilling out. Look at you. You can't even pour tea properly. I'm sorry. You also didn't do the precautionary measures. And now what? You want to influence Wei Wei to open a store. Have you ever considered about this pregnant lady? Uncle Tang, I'm sorry. As soon as I heard about this news, I came right back. If the flight is postponed, I will flip out. Wei Wei, did Lin Ran bewitch you? You can't fall into his trap. Xu Jian. You're right. What nonsense are you talking about? Pour the tea. Fill it up. 
Go away. Xu Jian, I really want to open a dessert shop. I've already paid the store's down payment. Everything has settled. Isn't it too late for you to say this? Wei Wei is right. Shut up! Wei Wei, I don't understand. Why would you fall in love with this punk? He's not a responsible man. How can he protect his family? Stop it! I'm your uncle. I'm doing this for Wei Wei's sake. I said stop it! Enough! The dessert shop was my decision, and I chose Lin Ran. I won't change my mind. Xu Jian, you just returned. So let's catch up with each other? I don't want to talk about something else. I need to go to the washroom. That's it for today's meeting. Please work on what we've discussed. Li Xiang, stay here. Li, how are you doing at work? Are you happy? Everything is fine. You are young. Do you have a boyfriend? Don't be nervous. It's just a chit-chat. Boss, I admit I misbehaved, but it didn't affect my work. I'll be careful. That's not what I meant. You and Mr. Jin of Huanuo are on good terms, right? Our company's financing has been stalled. So I'm thinking to let you handle this. You're part of this company. You should contribute something. Don't reject this order. Boss, Mr. Jin and I don't know each other well. We just meet by chance. Mr. Jin told me that you're friends. Someone told me that we know each other well. And that we are friends. How could you spread false rumors? What does she mean? Don't tell me. She wants us to be more than friends? As expected from her. Minus five points. She is... Forget it, I'll just give you ten points. Please watch your language. Very funny. Since we are friends, then I don't have to thank you with a meal. Treating to a meal again? Don't you have something else to do? Then what should we do? This lady is so indifferent. I should deduct her points. Well, that's not necessary. We're adults anyway. Forget about it. It's not the right time. Besides, we're not in the kind of relationship to do that. Xiang, what are you doing? Your coffee. It's okay. How's it going? Do you have any idea to change your cousin's mind? Uncle, this is Lin Ran's fault. You shouldn't target on Wei Wei. Don't forget. We're on the same team. Don't cause problems for yourself. Fine. We'll think about this together, okay? I asked you to come back to solve this problem, so you go and talk to her. No, uncle. You are her father. You came back all the way here, so you should talk to her. You do it. No, you do it. No way. I am your uncle, so you should do as I say. Understand? Uncle? Uncle. I've tried to talk to Wei Wei, but she was so determined. If I force her by any means, Wei Wei would hate me, right? It will ruin my image in her heart. Xu Jian, 
As long as you think positive, you'll find a way. Don't worry about it, just do it. I will always support you. I'll pay for this. Uncle! Wei oui, Wei, oui. what kind of guys do you like? Wei oui, Wei, oui, look. I treat you really good. He is definitely your ideal type. Hello. Oh, right. Tell her how old you are. I'm 21 years old. He's 21 years old. I like a 22-year-old guy. His Chinese age is 22. Come on, stand up. Tell her how tall you are. I'm 186 centimeters him tall. I prefer a 8-4 centimeter tall guy. He is 184 centimeter if he takes his shoes off. He's perfect. Here, show her your abs. She likes one with last name Lin. Wei Wei, his surname is Lin. Don't be ridiculous. Wei Wei, just let him be. There are plenty of guys like him out there. I like a bad temper guy like him. If you don't like this guy, I can help you find another one. Xu Jian. Yes, I know. It's failed. Where is my power bank? I think I brought it. He walked 50 men in five minutes. I can't believe him. Kiss me, hug me, or comfort me. Pick one. Are you peeking at me? I can recognize it as you. Your footsteps, your breath, and your shadow. I remember them all. I have kept them in my mind since the first day I like you. Is that so? This is called mirror exposure effect. Research shows that people tend to develop a preference for things when they are familiar with them. We are at a public place. Tang Wei Wei. Uncle, what are you doing here? You brat. You know, Weiwei is pregnant. Are you out of your mind? I can't believe you try to separate them. Do you want to see her child to be born without a father? That's not it, Uncle. I didn't think it through. I just wanted to find someone to distract her. You call this a distraction? I'll beat you to death today. Uncle. Stop right there! I'm sorry, Uncle. Where are you going? I'm sorry. Stop. I'm really sorry. Stop. Stop right there. I'm really sorry, Uncle. I won't do that again. You never listen to me. Wei Wei, you should change your username. Change to what? Peanut butter. What does that mean? I am chocolate. You are peanut butter. Together, we are like peanut butter meets chocolate. Screaming at! I'm still in the game. No, look at this. Look at their couple nickname. You see, Weiwei never changed her name once in 18 years. This is Lin Ran's fault. He's a bad influence on Weiwei. Exactly, he is a bad influence. I wanted to separate them, but you stopped me. Uncle, do something! At this rate, Weiwei will be on the moon.
Lin Ren even induced her to open a store. Once she pays it, you can't take the money back. That won't happen. I already terminated her card. Goodness, Uncle. The older, the wiser. Uncle, you have my respect. I know. You're so brilliant. Of course. You're the best. Good morning, Ran. Fei. Have you ever seen or heard of a very cool WeChat couple name? What about profile pictures? Lin Ran, here's your coffee. Han, have you ever seen a very cool WeChat couple name? I think so. What you've seen so far are all lame. Let me show you this. Here. Look at the profile picture and the username. Do you know what it means? It means I have a girlfriend. Han, do you have a girlfriend? Do you think I do? Du Ruyue, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? You must be crazy. Why do you say so? Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Do you have a girlfriend? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Stop fooling around. Are you going out? Where are you going? I have. I have antenatal class. Antenatal class? How long does the class take? I'll take you there. I don't think you can go on your own. The baby's father should go with me. Besides, Lin Ran has been waiting for me downstairs. I'll get going. Goodbye. Be careful. Come back early. You are here early. Let's go. Uncle, she didn't bring her phone. Let me pass it to her. you don't like we have seen so far. So what exactly are you looking for? The first store was too small. There's not much room for customers. The second one is adequate, but the lighting is bad. I, the annual electricity bill is almost equivalent to my annual rent. Hello? I'll wait at the front. See you later. Hello! Lin Ran. Weiwei forgot her phone. I'm here to pass it to her. Where is your class? Xu Jian, where are you? I'm on the stairwell. On the second floor? I'm going up now. Stop right there! Actually, we're not there anymore. We are now at... At the... Uh... We're in the hospital! Weiwei accidentally bumped her stomach. She has a cramp, so we're here for the checkup. Is Weiwei all right? Well then, you guys take care. Do you have enough money? Tell me if you need more. Tell Weiwei that her phone is at home. Tell her to not worry. Hello? Who are you looking for? Based on your budget, it will be hard to find a place that suits your preference. I am sure you are a reasonable person. How about this? I have a place, but it has already booked by another client. Also, it can be a little complicated. Are you interested? Don't worry. If it's the perfect place for me, 
Money is not a problem. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Let's take a look at the place first. Ran. Help me. Your teacher is killing me. What kind of paintings should we exhibit? What kind of technique? And how many should we prepare? I already amended. The last proposal. You can have a look. I still don't get it. What are they for? What is the drawing technique? What does the color mean? The portraits are ugly. I don't want to pick. I'm busy now. We'll talk next time. What do you think? I will take this one. Like I said before, someone else booked this place. If you really want it, the price. Give me your price. A little more expensive than before. Are you okay with that? The balance is insufficient. Why don't you use another card? Why don't you try it again? Okay. It's still the same. Do you have another card? Good morning. Xiang. Xiang. Don't you think this is a stroke of luck? Nonsense. I'm really allergic to it. I can't stand the smell. Xiang, this just arrived. Just put it down. Why are you standing here? Get back to work. Hello. Jin Zichuan, are you messing with me? What's wrong? You give me lilies every day. Are you crazy? Don't you like it? You can throw it away then. Are you kidding me? You send me flowers every day. My boss needs to pass them to me. How can I throw the flowers? I... You are playing hard to get. Why don't you just say I'm a sly woman who takes advantage of you? You psychopath! Who was she talking to? What's going on? Guzhen. Don't mind about me. You can continue. Lin Ren is... What's wrong with him? Is he pulling a prank on me? He's really smart. He knows that marketing is important. The indispensable part of paintings. Look, he has done a great job at this exhibition. What do you mean? Look at this. Here. Look at these. Between Kandinsky's and Malevich's art. He put in some other paintings as a transition. That's really a good idea. Let me see. I'll go first. <laughs> 